A very warm welcome to Paisley Abbey's Daily Prayer for Thursday the 18th of June, which today is coming from the Abbey Mance. Let us pray. Almighty God, without you we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On Monday we heard Matthew's version of the Lord's Prayer as part of our reflection on the writing on prayer of the spiritual director, author and theologian Evelyn Underhill. Today we will hear St Luke's shorter version of the prayer as recorded in the 11th chapter of his Gospel. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. How many times, I wonder, has the Lord's Prayer been said in the last 2,000 years? It has been described as the prayer of prayers, the prayer of human life, the prayer of all history. The prayer of those who wait for God to establish finally God's rule over all humanity. The prayer recited in private devotions and public worship, day in, day out, across the whole of Christendom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is the goal towards which we aspire. We're not there yet. There are still trials and tribulations to face and temptations to overcome. But daily as we recite that prayer, we take another step along the road to living as God would have us live. Another step along the road to living the life of God's kingdom. A life characterized in the prayer by forgiving others as we have been forgiven. The reign of God is identified by a right relationship with God and a right relationship with other people. Our Lord exemplified those right relationships in his own life on earth. Now, as we negotiate our way through life's ups and downs, we seek to follow his example and renew the focus of our lives through the words of the prayer he taught. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, with the words our Lord gave us, may we make our way through this world. We know that when he lived on earth, his path was not always smooth, that he endured much but rose again at the last and ascended to your nearer presence. May we likewise face with perseverance and faith whatever life brings our way, knowing that we too will come in the end to the joy of life in your nearer presence, in your kingdom, where your love is victorious and your will is forever done. Amen. And now let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. And we end today with another of Bach's preludes on the Lord's Prayer.